Hi boys and girls, it's Miss Bryn, and this is Rosie. And today, she's gonna help me talk about some body parts. So before we start our book, let's review some of our body parts. Can you put your hands on your head, like Rosie? Good job. Can you put your hands on your stomach? Can you put your hands on your toes? Can you put your hands on your elbows? That's a little tricky, Rosie, I'll help you. Your elbows? Good job. How about your knees? Excellent, you remember lots of body parts. So our book today is called From Head to Toe. Rosie, I'm gonna have you sit right next to me so you can see the book. There we go. So, boys and girls, on the front cover of our book, we have an animal. Do you remember what kind of animal that is? Yeah, it's a gorilla. This part of the book is called the, what? Yeah, the spine, the tall, skinny part. And who remembers where your spine is in your body? Hmm, Rosie, can you help us? Mm -hmm. Your spine is right here in your back. Thanks, Rosie. And speaking of back, this is the back cover of the book. And look, there's a picture of a little boy and a flamingo and they're balancing on one leg. Can you balance on one leg? Let me see it right now. Rosie, you wanna show the kids how you balance? On one leg, very carefully. Can you balance on the other leg? Wow, Rosie can balance. Can you? Let's open up our book. It's called From Head to Toe, and the words were written by Eric Carl. He is the author. From Head to Toe. Remember, I'll read the words, and then I'll move the book closer so you can see it. I want you to be able to see the illustrations or the pictures. I am a penguin and I turn my head. Can you do it? I can do it. Boys and girls, can you turn your head back and forth, back and forth? Nice. I am a giraffe and I can bend my neck. Can you do it? I can do it. Can you bend your neck? Your neck is right here. Down, up, down, up. Good job. I am a buffalo and I can raise my shoulders. Can you do it? I can do it. Point to your shoulders. Yeah, right here. Can you move them up and down, up and down? I am a monkey and I can wave my arms. Can you do it? I can do it. Can you wave your arms like a monkey? There's the monkey. I am a seal and I can clap my hands. Can you do it? I can do it. I am a gorilla and I thump my chest. Can you do it? I can do it. Can you thump your chest, boys and girls? Like this? Yeah, that's what the 
gorilla does. And remember, we saw that same gorilla on the front cover. I am a cat and I can arch my back. Can you do it? I can do it. Ooh, on this one, you have to touch the ground. Look how her hands and her feet are touching the ground, just like the cat. I am a crocodile and I wriggle my hips. Can you do it? I can do it. Do you remember where your hips are? Yeah, they're right here. Can you put your hands on your hips? Now, can you wriggle them back and forth? Good job, it looks a little bit silly. I am a camel and I bend my knees. Can you do it? I can do it. Who remembers where their knees are? One, two, we have two knees. I am a donkey and I kick my legs. Can you do it? I can do it. Look at them kicking their legs. I am an elephant and I stomp my foot. Can you do it? I can do it. Look at that big elephant stomping its foot. Boys and girls, do you remember what this part of the elephant is called? It's called the trunk. The elephant uses its trunk to drink water and it uses it kind of like a hand to pick things up. Do you remember what this little part is called right here? Yeah, that's the elephant's tail. I am an eye and I wiggle my toe. Can you do it? I can do it. Can you wiggle your toes? Nice job. There's no words on this page. There's just some colors. And if I keep turning the pages, I get to the back cover. That means the book is all done. So we can say the end. But I want to show you another page from this book because we're going to play a little game. I'm going to find the part with the seal. The seal clapped its hands. We're going to see if we can make a pattern using our bodies. A pattern is when you do something again and again. So the pattern we're gonna make is we're gonna pat our head and clap our hands, just like the seal did. So we're gonna go pat, clap, pat, clap. Let me see if you can do it at home too, ready? We'll try together. Pat, clap, pat, clap. See if you can do it without saying anything. Good job. Now we're gonna touch our knees, just like the camel bent its knees. Let's find the page with the camel on it. Oh, camel, where are you? There it is. There's the camel bending its knees. We're gonna touch our knees, and then we're gonna touch our bellies. So we're gonna go knees, belly, knees, belly. Again, let's try it without even saying anything. Ready? We're gonna be so quiet. Kiss your brains. Excellent job. If you can make a pattern with your body at home, I would love to see it in a picture or a video. See if you can think of some other patterns like Pat, clap, pat, clap, or knees, belly, knees, belly. 
Rosie and I can't wait to see what you do at home. Can you say boy bye to the boys and girls? Bye. Bye, boys and girls. See you soon.